Hello, my name is Michael Armstrong. In my previous video, I described how I use Great Forecast to provide my university students with an extra form of feedback. In this video, I describe the results of my research on this Great Forecasting tool. The first step of the research was to prepare a spreadsheet that would allow the students to forecast their own grades. Uh, the equations in this spreadsheet were created using linear regression of the previous year's offering of the course. I then posted that spreadsheet on the course website and made it available to the students after they'd received all their term test marks back. And I let the students try it out on their own. So this participation was both optional and anonymous. And then in the last week of class, I handed out a short survey to the students asking them for their reactions. And again, this was both optional and anonymous. What I found was that about half the students said they had tried the forecasting tool. And in doing so, they behaved much as previous research would have suggested. Uh, first of all, the stronger students, students with higher grades, were much more likely to report trying the forecasting tool than students with lower grades. And also, students tended to be overly optimistic about their grades. 29% uh, of the students said that the forecasts were lower than they had been expecting, whereas only 6% said those forecast grades were higher than they had expected. And the students reacted to those forecasts. About a third of the class said they felt more positive uh, subsequent to the forecast exercise or more confident, whereas another third of the class said they felt more worried or more negative after the exercise. Happily, 56% uh, of the class said they were now felt more motivated by trying the forecasting exercise. And likewise, about 47% of the students said they were now studying harder than they had originally intended, whereas only 6% said they were studying less than they originally intended. And overall, about three quarters of the class recommend we continue to offer this grade forecasting tool in previous, or sorry, in later years. I looked as well for relationships between the student responses on each of the questions. And I found, first of all, there's a positive connection between the forecast grade and what the students reported as a difference between their expectation and that grade, that is to say, that students with high forecast grades were more likely to say that the forecast was higher than expected, whereas those with low forecast grades were more likely to say the forecast was lower than expected. That difference between expectation and uh, forecast uh, showed uh, influences on both feelings and student recommendations. Uh, students where the difference uh, was higher, the forecast was higher than expected, we're more likely to report positive feelings and more likely to recommend we continue to offer the forecasting technique. The forecast grade itself uh, also showed some other impacts. The students with a higher forecast grades were more likely to report positive feelings about the exercise, whereas the students with low forecast grades were more likely to report that they were now studying harder than it originally intended. Students were also more likely to report studying harder if the forecast uh, made them feel worried about their progress, if they were recommending that we continue to offer the tool, or if they felt more, more motivated after the exercise. There are also connections amongst those reactions in that students with positive feelings or who reported po being positively motivated by the exercise were also students who uh, or more likely to recommend we continue to offer it. There were two surprises in this uh, data. First of all, there was no direct connection between uh, student studying behavior and the difference between the forecast and their expectation. Uh, I would have thought that students uh, who were surprised by a lower forecast grade than what they expected would have been the ones who would then study harder. Uh, but that didn't show up as a statistically significant uh, connection. What did show up uh, was the forecast grade itself. Students with low forecasts were more likely to study harder. 
that was a bit surprising because that existed even if the forecast was merely confirming what the students had already expected. If you'd like more information on this study, please read the research paper that appeared in the Decision Sciences Journal of Innovative Education. Thank you.